pretty well for your size. If you didn't, though, it wouldn't be worth the effort to cut you down. Who are you? I'm number 66. Well, that's the name they gave me when I came to work here anyway. I'm going to cut you up nice and neat. <gasps> All you have to do is sit back and scream! That's right. I don't know who you are, kid, but you sure figured out a lot just from looking at a transmutation circle. I'm just good like that. Who are you, pal? The one in charge of guarding this place from curious brats. For the moment, let's just say my name is number 48. And believe me, I'm not your pal. My orders are to dispose of anyone who wanders in here, poking his nose where it doesn't belong. Try not to take it personally, boy. All right, I won't. Can you try not to take it personally when this boy kicks your ass? Hmm. You're an alchemist, are you? All right, then. Let's see what you got. A prosthetic arm, huh? No matter. My sword can pierce steel as well as flesh. My, my, what's this? I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say you're hollow inside. You're a perceptive one. I could tell from the sound. I spar against someone like you all the time. So there are people like me on the outside too, are there? That's surprising. <laughs> Yeah, it makes me sick to think there's more than one idiot in the world who came up with the brilliant idea of bonding a disembodied soul to a suit of armor. Hmm. Perhaps I should introduce myself again. 48 is the number I was assigned when I was on death row. Back when I still had a living body, I was better known as Slicer. I was a mass murderer, you see. So you were slated for execution. Tell me something then. This laboratory. Are they using condemned prisoners like you to make philosopher's stones here? Well, I can't tell you. It isn't my area. They simply recognized my skills, gave me this body, and made me the trusty guard dog. Interesting. I'm sure they gave you a seal, too, to serve as a medium between soul and armor? Yes. I have a blood seal. This is it right here. If you destroy this, the fight's yours. That's awfully considerate of you to show me your weak spot. I like to give myself a little extra challenge during a fight now and then. As long as you're in such a giving mood, then how about this? Why not just let me go? Nice try, kid. But what kind of mass murderer lets his prey get away so easily? Now, let's fight! Shoulder doesn't feel right. I have to find a way to end this quickly. Yes, I'm dead. Too long since I've had prey that was worth hunting. But you're tired and wounded now. You won't last much longer. Right about now, my companion should be finishing off the part that you left outside. Is this companion of yours strong? Yes, he is. He isn't as strong as I am, though. <laughs> In that case, I don't need to worry. You see, we've been sparring partners a long time, and I've still never beaten him. Damn it! Why can't you sit still for a second and let me cut you up, you big bucket of bolts? <laughs> There's a bit of a story behind that. 
I'm from a little town in the east, so... Fine! But even if you don't know who I am, shouldn't you at least be a little scared? Shouldn't you be going, ah! Or what happened to your body? Or something? Ah! What happened to your body, freak? Hey, now that's impolite. Oh, I see. You were on death row, too. You had me startled there. No way! I'm not a criminal! Huh? Then what happened to you? It's kind of a long story. When I lost my body, my brother transmuted my soul and bonded it to this armor. Your brother? <laughs> of course, your brother! <laughs> What's so funny about it? <laughs> are you sure you and your brother are really related? Well, I guess we don't look that much alike anymore. No, no, no. That's not what I mean. Are you sure that you're not a puppet created and controlled by your so-called brother? <gasps> Were you ever even a real person to begin with? How can you ask something like that? I was a real boy and my name was Alphonse Elric. <laughs> How can you be so sure of that? I have memories. I remember who I was before. And who's to say those memories aren't made up? <gasps> but Winry and Granny, they know me. That's easy. They're in on it too. <gasps> Silly boy. You were never alive to begin with. It's as simple as that. Then how do you know that you were really alive? I was, trust me. This area's off limits, don't move! <gasps> there, did you see that? There's nothing I love more than chopping up live people. I can't control myself. I kill, therefore I am. As long as I know that, it's all I need to prove to myself that I've always been me. <laughs> Your brother is that good, is he? Then I'll have to hurry up and defeat you so I can get around to taking care of him. <laughs> Go out! Do it now! What? That was dirty! There's no such thing as dirty in a fight! <laughs> What's the matter? You still haven't destroyed the blood seal I so kindly pointed out. You going to or not? I'm not beaten yet. Impossible! I forgot to mention something about this mass murderer, Slicer. His crimes were really done by a pair of brothers. An independent head and body? That's a dirty trick! Now, now, weren't you the one who said there's no such thing as dirty in a fight? Are you ready? Round two's about to begin, short stuff. Don't call me short! I don't think so! I'm not going to give you time to trend you! Damn, I've lost too much blood. I'm starting to feel dizzy. Not good. Not good. Here he comes. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Die! Oh. He reminded me of someone I don't like, and now I've done exactly what he did. How could you, you hot rat? He's wriggling. That freaky brother. As much as I hate to admit it, we've lost. So you're not gonna tell me you're only three brothers, are you? No, no. Come on, boy, you won. Hurry up and destroy us. <laughs> no, I'm not a murderer. With bodies like these, are we really even people? I consider you people whether you have physical bodies or not. If I didn't, that would mean I didn't believe my own brother as a person either. Come on, what's the matter, little puppet? I told you I'm not a puppet! You keep telling yourself that! But how can you know for sure? How can you be certain you were really alive? There is one way you can prove that you're not just a puppet made from scraps of armor. You've got a blood seal too, right? Destroy it. Go ahead, break it yourself. If you die, you were a real boy all along, just like you want to believe. No, there's no way I could ever do that. Oh no? Then I guess I'll have to do it for you, won't I? I know that my brother is a human being. That means you guys are human too. I will not take the life of another person. Huh. <laughs> brother? 
My brother and I have been lying, stealing, cheating, and killing together for as long as we can remember. And now that we're in these pseudo-bodies, we're being treated like humans for the first time. Don't you see the irony? For that boy, I'll give you a parting gift. I'll tell you everything. I'll tell you who made the Philosopher's Stone and ordered us to guard this place. My, that was a close call. Number 48, you should know better than to talk about things that don't concern you. Well, well, would you look at that? What's the full metal pipsqueak doing here? Such a troublesome boy. How did you find out about this place? Brother! 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 <laughs> Quit your pathetic blubbering, you idiot! You are trying to kill one of our most important sacrifices. Do you understand me? You could have messed up the entire plan. What would we have done then? Huh? Tell me who you people are. What plan are you talking about? What do you mean when you say important sacrifice? Oh my, the pipsqueak's raring to go. I think I made it angry. Don't call me pipsqueak again. Then what would you prefer? A pipsqueak? Whoa now, there's no need to fight here. Someone might get hurt, you know. This is a fight that you started, so come on! Technical difficulties? Lucky me! You're fortunate your arm's broken. If not for that, you wouldn't be getting off so easily. Listen to me well, boy. Don't ever forget this. Always remember we allowed you to live. What's the matter, little boy? You got something on your mind? Shut up! You're wrong! Just accept it. You'll feel better! <laughs> You're mine now, little puppet! What? Stay right there, or the next one puts a hole in your head. This isn't going quite as I planned. So you might want to get him to a hospital as soon as you can. Also, you really should keep a better eye on him, stop him from taking these crazy risks. He's a precious resource. But who are you? Lieutenant Ross, we need to go! Sergeant, help me with him! Uh, what happened to him? We'll talk later, and you should go too! What? He's gone. 